the, at the break we just had. And uh, if he doesn't hold his throw here on the set, then he's very likely to go down 4 0 because with every set Michael wins, he's getting better. He's getting more confident. And it's just harder to beat. There's just no easy way of putting it. Well, the winner will become only the sixth world champion since the birth of the PVC tournament 54. in 1994. Priestley, Taylor, Part, Barneveld, Lewis. Five world champions in PVC history. Who will be number six? And a good start here from Peter. And a bit of a sloppy one for Michael. It, you know, if we can accuse Michael of anything, it's if he gets ahead sometimes he does when he has a chance to think. When he's not running around in circles fast on a stage, but when he has a break, he, he might think a little ahead, you know, and start thinking about what things mean and where he is and yeah. planning the victory speech maybe. Who knows? A little early for that, you'd have to say, but what else is he going to think about? He's doing great. He's got to win this set, though. <laughs> Peter Wright hasn't he? Got, got yes. to win this set. If, if he wins, if he wins this, it's game on again, without a doubt. But, you know, not, I'm not criticizing how Michael's thinking. You know, he's doing very well so far, and he has every right to be thinking right now. I'm going to win this. He has every right to think that, but you, you don't want to think it too much. You need to do the job. Well, at your Nine world season. final, the first ever world final on this stage in 2008, when you beat Kirk Shepard, at what stage were you thinking? I'm going to win this. I've got this. No, I didn't think that ever because every match Kirk Shepard won was down to the end and missed doubles and some sloppiness, and, and I knew I could be victimized just the same if I wasn't careful. Well, a fantastic 177 from Van Gerwen to leave a finish. Peter Wright needs the ball. He needs the ball. He's desperate to get the ball. And this a fabulous 177 setup. And a brilliant dart at double 16. He's broken through again. Yeah, ironically, the Peter Wright double of choice that let him down in the last set. And uh, a dagger through the heart of Peter Wright to get broken straight away in this third set he started. And then to see Michael throw 180. He's digging deep, trying to get a 180 back. But does not look confident, does not have the full stroke of the throw. Looks a bit tight, looks iffy, Peter Wright, for the first look at, time. Look at this! <laughs> well, you can see the disappointment on Michael Van Gerwen's face that he didn't hit another 180. He wants to hit a 9 darter in a World Championship final. Yeah, like his buddy Adrian. <laughs> yeah, Adrian Lewis in the first set of his final against Gary Anderson hit that nine data 83 it looks like Peter's calmed himself down a bit he's well behind in the leg Let's see if he can stroke a few treble 20s in to leave a finish no he's doing the right thing though trying to re-establish his comfortable pace treble 19 would leave tops tops it is for 2-0 He's missed tops quite a lot. I mean, it's difficult to criticize Michael Van Gerwen because he's been exceptional, but his one from five on top so far for Van Gerwen. Wow. But he's been pretty effective on double ten. Well, yes. And again. It's almost knowing you're going to hit double ten at some point and knowing you're coming back, it almost leads to sloppiness on the tops. John, that's six consecutive legs that Michael Van Gerwen has now won in this World Nine Championship seven. final. One a minute, As he pushes his average up to 105 and a half. Well, if, if Michael Van Gerwen wins the World Championship, he will also take over as number one in the world, knocking Phil Taylor off top spot. 
Are you sure that can't be possible? No. That is true. <laughs> uh, that I'll is believe true. it when I see the headline. Yeah. <laughs> Taylor only number two. Latif van Gerwen wins. Peter Wright has already rocketed up to world number seven after his fabulous tournament. If Peter Wright wins this, he goes up to world number three. 96. A little bit of a chance now for Peter. Get a 140, leave a 120, take it out, get some momentum back in his court a little bit. You, know, like you said he's lost six straight legs, so. You have to win a leg sometime, or obviously you're out. 100. Especially when you start, when you start the leg, and you got to be holding your throw. Can't start getting beat three nil in sets. You start. That just is, means you're going to lose. 87. Mark, will you require 108? Top seed Eves for the set, and a 108 finish from Michael Van Gerwen, Gerwen to win the set, Full and he's now won seven straight Michael legs in this World Game Championship on. final. Michael Van Gerwen leads Peter Wright three sets to nil. Wow, John Park. One hundred and thirty-four. Of course, a new name on the Sid Waddell Trophy. We miss him. The great man would have loved this final. Two of the most colourful characters in the game. Without doubt, the two best players in the tournament are fighting out the final. Yeah, as it should be, and usually is. It's great that it's come down to this. Of course, as... Fans of darts, we would like to see Peter get a bit of a run going here, make a contest of it, but that's not always how it works. One and One and there was always the question whether the occasion might get to Peter Wright. How would he handle the occasion? Yeah, I don't think. At this point, him losing, being down 3-0 is the occasion. I think it's Michael Van Gerwen beating him. I don't think it's the occasion at all. I think he's quite comfortable with the occasion, although he might be a little worried about losing the chance. As it looks now, a 19 will leave tops. Now, 116, under normal circumstances in this championship, Peter Wright would be thinking, OK, it's done. I'm getting it. He's going to go for 19. So needs four. So a single now to leave tops. So get one dart at tops. To break the throw. Couldn't a bit closer. Yeah, and he can't get a break, figuratively or literally. Unless Michael misses, it's possible. Game show he got Not the Mango. perfect deflection off the other darts Second there. Day, I was thinking what you were saying about the one, one out of five on tops, and he might just miss that. I was thinking he was better off missing a second dart low and going for double ten. But he recovered, didn't he? Well. Brilliant dance from Peter Wright. He will not give up. But here's the pressure. 139. There's been three or four legs where he's had darts to win. He's had one dart, hasn't he, to win big legs. Three of them to break the throw, John. And he's missed on every time. Key moments in this world final. That's true, but I think it's the pressure that Van Gerwen has on him. And it, uh, Michael, at about a 105 average the whole match, sort of doing to Peter Wright what Peter Wright did to Michael Smith. You know, Michael was playing great, but Peter Wright had all the answers. Well, here, he's got questions. Why aren't I hitting those doubles like I was? If you include the winning set against Mark Webster, six against Adrian Lewis, he's now won ten consecutive sets, Michael Van Gerwen. That's a ball to level this set for Peter Wright.
No luck. Michael, you require 117. Yep. 17 for tops for another leg. 97. Now this is a must hit. Really, really. I mean, you have to take this out, Peter. Should be nine for double eight. Area of the board he loves. Has to move a little to get the clear lane in. Go right beside it. 17. Michael, you require 20. The look on his face tells us what we need to know there. Double Game tag time, has been a real friend for Michael Van Gerwen. Third leg, Michael to throw first. Came on. That's nine legs on the spin, John. Nine consecutive legs. The Dutch darting dynamo has won in this World Championship final. One he's flying. Voted. At the moment, he's flying towards his first world crown. Well, that's uh, one of the difficulties when you have a more deliberate style of play is when things go drastically wrong, it's hard to get into a rhythm again and stroke confidently. That's where the rhythm player, the faster player, has an advantage, to get out of a slump. See, he's just feeling around now, and he has, he has really no feel for where he's trying to hit. He's dazed, dazed and confused. The shirt is emblematic of his state of mind right now. Well, I asked Peter Wright before the final about his outfit, his colourful outfit for the final. He said it's called the puzzle. Well, he should have taken the Michael Van Gerwen green colour stripes out of there, wow. probably. Yeah. Well, the puzzle is all about Peter Wright at the moment. 96. Michael, I mean, he must be thinking. How on earth am I winning so easily, after, including the semi-final with Adrian? I mean, he probably can't believe this is happening. Not in his wildest dreams that Michael Van Gogh would envision this semi-final and final has gone so far. Three from 12 on tops. But he's missed three darts for the set. The first real crack. Yeah, our audience here at the Alexander Palace willing Peter Wright into hitting this 63. Urgently need it. Double 16. Finally finds his friend. Says, there it is. I knew I could hit a double. And it's a break, so he gets to come straight back to throw again. More time for Michael to stand and think a little bit. Not that he's got too many negative thoughts in his mind at the moment. but Michael Van Gerwen is just... For the first time in this final, just the odd little crack. He missed three darts for the set. 45. He missed three darts to win the set, but only 45 from Peter Wright. Will normal service be resumed? <laughs> wow, what a response. Peter Wright breaks Michael Van Gerwen for the first time in the final, and that was only the second leg that Peter Wright has won in the entire final. 41. And 45 and 41, starting your own leg after a really great break effort, and uh, he was let off a little bit. One but and 21. There you see a 10 dart, 10 points difference in the three dart average. But he's won, and, and that that in this case the averages are telling the truth. I mean they're reflecting the set scores. There's just no difference. One hundred and forty. Well, just two legs in the entire final so far for Peter Wright. Might get a chance here. Well, only 40 from Van Gerwen. Yeah, Peter has to think, okay, okay, six starts, 275. What can I do? Yeah, he can't do anything to leave a finish now. 97. Michael, you require 160. Might go for the bull at 25, yes. 89. It's a good turn. Get down to 71. Single, single, double finish at worst in the likely scenario. No finish for right. 58. Michael, you require three 71. set darts. Already missed. 
Another dart at tops. Can Michael Van Gogh at the moment is simply sensational. He is playing some amazing darts. And Michael Van Gogh leads the world final emphatically. Four sets to nil.